What is going on YouTube? It is Baku back with another video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be going over Nezerax Sen, Abysmal Attractors, Void Damage Kills, Increase Ability, Recharge Rate. Now, initially, I didn't know if this would work with Prismatic, right? Because it says Void Damage. But then I remembered, obviously, weapons have different affinities. So, uh, this isn't the actual build, guys. So, the real build that we would be looking at would be this, right? This is what I had it built for. Unfortunately, today the Lost Sector was Overload and Anti-Barrier, so I had to adjust. I had to fix the build to where it would work. Now, I will preface by saying this build is not a solo build. However, there probably are some modifications that you could take. I definitely think that with, excuse me, Buried Bloodline, you could easily solo content with this build. Now. Let's go ahead and get into the mods. So, hands on, strain siphon, harmonic siphon, focusing strike, bolstering detonation, momentum transfer. Then we got concussive dampener, and then these change accordingly. We're going double recuperation because we're always creating orbs, absolution, with outreach, and reaper. Now, I've already went over the weapons. You could use any void weapon, guys. It really doesn't matter. I just chose LC Dreadful, obviously, because it's anti-barrier. But Buried Bloodline is going to be the best for this, and I'll show you why. So when I did the run, I had to modify the build again so I could get Devoured with Feed the Void. However, this is not the build. The build that you want to do is Helion, Lightning Surge, and then we're rocking Storm Grenade, Arcane Needle, Phoenix Dive, with Nova Bomb. Now... This Lost Sector specifically, Nova Bomb is just better, but you can use other Song of Flame and Nova Bomb depending on how you feel about it. Um, also, I will preface by saying if you're doing a GM or content with Unstops Anti Barrier, you can switch the Storm Grenade off to the Vorte Vortex Grenade. This not only will give you uh, more of the Abyssal Attraction, it'll just work out overall for you. So, we have Facet of Sacrifice. While I have an Arc, Solar, or Void debuff, Ability Final Blows grants Darkness Transcendence Energy. Facet of Hope, while I have an Elemental buff, my class ability regenerates faster. Facet of Dominance, this goes for either, either your Void Grenade or your, your Arc Grenade. You can either Jolt or Weaken Targets, either one, depending on the content. Facet of Dawn, Powered Melee Hits, will make you uh, Radiant. And then final blows make you in nearby allies radiant. Facet of blessing while melee final blow melee final blows start health regeneration while transcendence melee final blows start health generation. Now I will preface by saying guys that if you aren't hard focusing transcendence, you won't get it because this is a very light heavy build, meaning that if you aren't getting ability kills while you have those those buffs, um you're you're not going to get as much transcendence or darkness transcendence energy now you can get it from arcane needle and from a strain weapon that's why i use the better devils um and then we have facet of protection <clears throat> while surrounded by combatants you are more resistant to incoming damage while transcendence effect is increased now, as always, we're going to go over stats for this video. Obviously, 100 Rezil needed. You need at least 40 to 50 recovery, in my opinion. You get your your Phoenix Dive back so fast that it doesn't really even matter. Um, 100 Discipline, if you can. 80 to 90 is perfect. Intellect doesn't matter here. You will get your Super back within, I want to say, 2 minutes. It doesn't take a full 9, though. Uh, your Strength, you want 100 Strength. 80 to 90 or I'd say the sweet spot's probably 70 to be honest because you get your abilities back so fast with this guys uh, it's absolutely insane obviously one key point of the build no matter what void weapon you're using you want to be shooting everything with it so th then this other weapon would essentially be to either get your darkness transcendence energy or to stun overload champions but you have other ways to do that with Storm Grenade and or Lightning Surge because both of those jolt your targets. Heavy weapon really doesn't matter, it's all preference. For the, this run I used Dragon's Breath because it cooks. Um, and that is it. If you guys liked the video, you want to see more like this, some off the wall stuff that people 
probably don't think about, let me know in the comment section below. Any feedback is always welcome. Unless you just tell me to stop making content in which I will ignore your comment because uh, we don't have time for that type of negativity. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you guys have a great day uh, and I'll see you in the next one.